Welcome back. Today we're going to unbox Windows Server 2019. If you go to the Windows Server blog, I'll include that lo uh, link in the description below. You will find out that uh, mid-January Server 2019 was released for availability. And you can check it out at the Evaluation Center. All right, so we're going to find Server 2019 in the Evaluation Center, and we'll see the options here. The installation's good for 180 days by default. You can open it in Azure. You can get an ISO or you can get a VHD. Azure, obviously, if you haven't already signed up for Azure, you can get a new subscription with 200 bucks credit. I'm going to download the ISO. Got the English version just in case. Okay, so while it's downloading, let's see what else we can scavenge off of this Evaluation Center web page here. Here we see the release notes and system requirements. The description looks like it has some more interesting links in it. You got that Try It in Azure link and Microsoft Hands-On Lab. And also down here at the bottom, you have what's new in uh, Windows Server 2019. So those look like some good hyperlinks to explore. As I indicated before, you can get your own free subscription to Azure. Uh, these self-paced labs are probably worth further investigation. Now here you can download the Server 2019 data sheet, and I'm just going to do that. There's a lot more good stuff on this page. You got the Windows Server on Azure Guide, Cloud Migration Essentials, uh, looks like a blurb about Windows Admin Center, and joining the Windows Insider program. Go for it. I don't know if you've all noticed this, but when you're on docs.microsoft.com, in the lower left-hand corner, there's always a download as PDF, which lets you save all of the content from the current page you're viewing as a PDF document great way to put something up on your tablet for reading on the plane. All right, well, it wouldn't be an unboxing if we didn't fire this bad boy up. You got three more minutes to spare. Go on and watch it. Anyway, I cropped out all of the hourglass spinning, paint drying scenes and crammed it all in the shortest possible time I possibly could. So keep going. This was something different that I didn't see in Server 2016 before while working in lab, this Hyper-V screen. I guess it helps you keep tabs if you got multiple consoles open. At least you know what platform you're working on. The media includes Standard Edition and Data Center Edition. Obviously, you're going to want to choose desktop experience if you want to see what you're doing. Otherwise, you're going to get core. Those are the four options.
So cosmetically, at least so far, this looks just like server 2016, but as we highlighted all that information previously, you got a lot of reading to do to see what's under the hood. I also like this try managing servers with Windows Admin Center, and I think we're going to bust that out and do a video on that next. Thank you very much.